Hi, buddy. Welcome back to Man of Brass, episode 12, with me, Sid. And uh, I'm on this fine morning with Nurk DK. Nurk, 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 Nurk. I'm not sure whether the K or the N Asylum. One of them is, or maybe both of them, or maybe they're neither of them. I don't know. Uh, I do know they're from Denmark. So, hello, Denmark. Um, and we are over here in Port Valentine. Last episode, we decorated up our blood altar. And I have been doing a little bit of um, a little bit of grinding in that space just to get ready for later, but not necessarily. I promised this episode we would concentrate on building and building we will concentrate on. So first things first, there's a whole load of stuff in here. Um, it is telling me that I am missing some stuff. I will tell it to skip missing blocks and off it goes so yeah we're going to do a wee bit of building work around port valentine um i would like to try and get down there done i want to um i want to sorry about my little tickly cough there I'll just say whenever i hit record so i want to try and get the grass and dirt down there so we are going to go and do a bit of botania today just to to make it so i'm not constantly having to grind dirt because it makes absolutely no sense grinding dirt when i don't have to um this particular structure is the weapon smith um, so we're going to go grab our two weapons, well, we're probably going to actually um, zombify and cure our two weaponsmiths first, and we'll bring them over and we'll get a fresh villager in here to be the weaponsmith. Um, I love this thing. I'm going to definitely work on building up this centerpiece here, that's the thing that I want to get done this episode, and I'd like to try and do some work on, uh, as I say, the port area down here and certainly get all of this grassed. And then we can work on roads and we've got plenty of space. We can work on how we're going to do things. So, you know, we're going to have maybe the road wall to here will come around this side, giving us plenty of space, butting up to the church there. Um, I told you to skip missing blocks. So it's just one of those I need. But that's fine. I've got I made some um, cracked ones so I can put a cracked one or two in once it doesn't it doesn't really matter. This is far more important that this gets built as it's meant to. So and that blast furnace because I think it's the grindstone that is the the armourer's thing. Um, and we will want to put, um, well, if we don't get one, we're going to want to put a piece of carpet there to stop him getting out. We'll fix that. And yeah, happy enough. Maybe, maybe a bit more decoration, but. And then we've got space here for something small. Um, just a house again, probably because I built that myself. Well, I, mean, I built this myself. I can build it in the traditional fashion of building by actually placing blocks by hand rather than allowing a cannon to do it for me so um although you've got to admit that is cool um oh, shouldn't be that much left in there now coming along nicely good 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 and i did overstock a few things as well just to make sure and there is Right, that's going to need some work. So, uh, what have I left in there? A little bit of you. You and you, that will get me up. Because it can't. <laughs> no. Up. Why are... Damn. <laughs> you 
just went down. Um, well, actually, no, it went in because there's nowhere for it to actually go, is there? Mm, one more block of anything. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Not that. Sure, what's going? Those should be that is weird. So, I know if I do, let me. Without the shift clicking, much better. There you go. That's what it should have done. <laughs> right, so we have more or less everything we need. Uh, I'm going to just dump all this junk that I have picked up from killing mobs through the night and pop that away so I just need a couple of things I need a villager I don't think I have one that's easily addressed um, and I need some blocks that carpet is in place so that's all good it is fully lit up oh, and um, and you can't get out of there and we just need to remove I need to double check what the block is for that I'm fairly certain it's a grindstone for a weaponsmith so I shall go and capture my well first things first let's just go and get the missing box and junk I really do wonder whether that should actually be down here <laughs> because I always port in and then immediately come downstairs so cracked brick entry isn't it there we go give me a couple of those um give me some coarse dirt while i'm at it because i probably want a little bit of that uh technically that 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 i'll keep hold of that um can go away that can come over there do, do, do. Right, let's go. It's fine. Village masons, that one will do me. Um, it doesn't matter that these guys are masons because they um, they soon won't be. There are lots of kitties here as well. Alright. Uh, well, yeah, I think you're a nitwit over there. You were when I left you. Yes, you don't me any any good. And did it there? You. I see you. Kidnap. Mine. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll take him and he's. He's the one I want upstairs, so I need to just now head back to the Port Valentine. Go down into the uh, this side, because that's where my other chaps are. Weaponsmith is most definitely the grindstone. Smithing table, yeah, because armor smith for the blast furnace, isn't it? Toolsmith for the... So these guys... It's kind of debatable whether I want to reduce the costs on these guys. I don't think I do. So what we shall do...
is grab those, put them over there, and I need to check a few other bits and pieces. I need, yeah, but I need some stuff. So the plan with all of these is to use these as training stations for the villagers we have. So for example, this, put that like that, I need, uh, that needs to come off. And actually we'll put you there, you make far more sense like that. We shall, or I do know, you're going to go on the wrong side, aren't you, if I do it that way? And let's not have both of those cracked, that will look silly. So, let's have a look. See, I'm not happy with the light level in there. That's, um, Definitely, given that these um, mobs from the hoofer, uh, where shall we go? There? That's a little bit better, I think. Then we can take you out and we can put you down. And. haven't picked a career yet let's have a snooze and give him a hand with that shall we but um yep he is now a weaponsmith he's selling an iron sword I'll, I'm not going to pay 13 emeralds for that and we shall actually we will just because I want to lock him in as a weaponsmith. And and that way when I place this in, he won't re recombobulate into something else. I'm also tempted to do that. No. Ah. See, now you don't know how to use that door. That confuses him and makes him angry. Um, bit of a sword up there. That gives us a definite clue as to what this is about. And then what we need is beneath, I'm going to need a bit of material. But, uh, uh, oh, hello. Hello, little bit. Oh, these are so cute. Hi. What did you give me? Mind Vision 3. Ooh. Um, interesting, but still need some building materials. Let's head over to the chateau and pick up some stuff and I'll be back in a second. All right, we are under the weaponsmiths now and we're gonna quickly hollow out I think that's as far as we wish to go that way and that way that should give me plenty of room if I go there and there oh that is not good uh -huh. Neither is that, but that's fine. We're going to take this out anyway. That's to there. That's to there. We'll pop a lantern in here. I'm going to come back to there. Drop that down. Back to there. Drop that down. Uh, but it doesn't actually matter that that's like that. 
grab a couple of those. Bonk, bonk. Nope. And, hmm, how do I want to do this then? I brought plenty of cobble bricks. These are probably going to be ubiquitous in a lot of builds, especially where it doesn't actually matter what is in here. do this 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 is my um, preferred way of building shall we say if we can manage it so what you do is you grab a little bit of that I didn't bring oh, that was a stupid wasn't it uh, well it's easily fixed uh, floor see for no other reason than that that was what came out of my thing when I did it we're gonna whack a little bit of that one oh hello ah we'll fix that when we go up because they've definitely got two holes in the ground now uh, and that one needs fixing as well and then just for good measure we'll swap over to Swapsies 2.0 my naming convention may leave a little bit to be desired but there you go and what else did I bring? did I bring some rounded? I did and I think that's more than enough detail for, you know, something where detail absolutely does not matter. We'll pop those in there, and then we shall pop you there. And we shall pop you there. You can have your workstations, you can't get out. And, yeah, captives have been relocated. I mean, the volunteer workers have been relocated and everybody is happy well ish for a given value of happy at the very least right well I mean that doesn't really excuse me sir thank you Confuse, I love confusing it. <laughs> I should actually do that with the other villagers, you know, because I think these guys over these guys over here are definitely somewhat confused about the the nature of their door. Uh, whereas now, let me. The only problem is getting out. Uh, maybe we should do this one over here as well. Just so we got that done. But... Plop. And... Plop. Right. Do I need... That was what I was thinking, actually. Do I need to add a little bit more... In here to make this a, a weapon smith no decorative decorative swords uh, yeah still love to find that one again um, <laughs> yeah maybe not I think that should be enough there and again it's obviously a forge so armed with all of 
that, let's head back to... Yep. Um, although there's not a huge amount I can do, to be honest. So, um... Let me just sort myself out. I'll have a quick chat about this recipe and I'll be back in a moment. All right, um, I've got an idea for my um, statue. I am borrowing some kind of ideas, but before we do that, let's, oops, nope, that is not how you do that. You go and do you. One, two, three. One of those, um, one of those, and then I think it's diamond. Diamond square diamond. Diamond. Square. Diamond. Yep. And there is our ring breaking grater. Just thought, I've had that for a while. It's just been waiting to happen. So let's get it done. Um, the other ring we could make at some point is the ring, not the thing, the ring of fortune. Obviously there are also a whole bunch of rings in um, Britannia, which um, I do want to have a play with in a bit. But before we do that, let us. So I think it's the Ring of Ring of Fortune. There you go. And then there's the Greater Ring of Fortune, and there's a Minor Ring of Fortune. So basically, I'm going to guess Fortune One, Two, Three. You know, nothing too excessive. Although, again, not overly expensive to craft either. Um, and given that now I can silk touch up all of my ores, it's probably a useful one. Now I do need a little, a little building material from over here, and I also need to turn this off. So I would like, I'll, I'll not take it from where I put in. I'll come over here. I'd like a little bit of you for starters, just cause white sand. I will probably want a lot of you at some point, but. Let's just grab a stack of this for now. Oh, that's a good point. I can use my... Um... I added the um... area modification. I'll just leave those two to my uh, dig spell. So now it's also a hammer. <laughs> uh, it was relatively straightforward to do and I really didn't see the point in recording adding something that was such a minor addition to uh, to that so that should give me a whole load of those Let's head back to Paul Valentine and sort out that fountain, shall we? I think I have, as I said, I think I have an idea of how I want to uh, to sort this. Um, it's probably, I think this fountain is going to need to get bigger by by at least one, though, for me to pull this off. Now, do I want to go 511 or do I want to go 32? That was not it. Let's try 32 for starters. How does that feel? The statue in the middle is going to be a 3x3. Three three. Um, I think that leaves us with enough space, doesn't it? So, we'll take out a layer down, because I don't want this to be a deep statue um, fountain. And we'll replace it... Oh, hello. We will replace it with... Let me just 
grab some of that. A mixture of white sand and the dacite. I think that works for me. The dacite especially. going. Uh, we'll grab my white sand, we'll go for a bit of swapsies. Just to throw a bit of texture in there, I think that'll do. Not with a white concrete powder because that would definitely not work. And then we're going to need a stone cutter. So we've got calcite and we can also play with cut diorite, which is, again, these are all very similar kind of things. And I probably could have got some quartz into this as well if I really wanted. Um, do I want to make this... Hmm, Let's just do 16 of those. And we shall. Do this again. It kind of shrinks the. Um, I'm going to need a little bit more, aren't I? What do I need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, again, doesn't really matter, but it's just why why muck around making more when I don't have to. Um, especially seeing that I'm going to change a few of these in a moment anyway. All right, so we're starting to get this big old white thing in the middle here, and. I may actually want more sea lanterns yet as well, but we'll we'll make a decision on that one in a moment. Let me take a handful of calcite and make you into calcite bricks and we'll We'll just swap those over like a so. Uh, right, I am getting and getting a little bit snided out with blocks that I don't really need. So let's just pick those up like that. Uh, a little bit over here perhaps. Uh, maybe one there. That'll do us. And then we should be able to hopefully can I get, I can get to cut calcite stairs. Can I get to cut diorite stairs? I can. So, how to do this? Because I think, yeah, I think we want this to be nicely raised up. Like that. <laughs> Sorry, they're scaring me with Mr. Villager making noises. So I need a little bit more of those. Uh, and then I need to fill this in with water, which we will need those for. In fact, we'll fill it now. infinite water source okay. 
Just get this feeling. Why is that not infiniting to the middle? Okay, that's better. I don't think I can get out of that though, so I need to make sure that I do leave that adequately done right. So, the looking out to sea over this way, we are going to have, um, well, we're going to have a definite little mascotty kind of character. Um, let me just do maybe 12 of those. Uh, I'll leave one of these empty. Um, and we'll do... Oh, we can do a that's not it's, yeah no let's not do that that would be not conducive I don't think so again this just we'll leave that one in the middle right let me have a quick sleep um, not that I'm worried about mobs. Uh, the do we do get, as you can see, um, a few of the born in chaos mobs, and we think what's happening is that the this is 118, so this light level spawning is um, is above zero, you know, as as per 118 spawning. And um, we believe that Morning Chaos is probably running this as um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Terrible the word, the difficult. Um, we think that Morning Chaos is probably running to white light level seven, a la you know vanilla. Let's get a few of those right. So in the middle here. I need to start there. Well, I actually don't need to worry about the middle, but we'll pop that in anyway. And while I'm at it, I should also just do a double check my light level around the thing because I think I think everything should be good it is right so again we come back up here and we are going to start with that to bring you up um, pop in one of them Perhaps that, maybe a little bit of that, another bit of that, one of them, one of them, and uh, well, maybe one of those, why not? I guess there's a nice little pedestal coming up off of the ground, and from there, we can start with Okay, so let's have a thing. I'm going to need to come up at least two. Uh, let's come up three, actually. So... Huh. Definitely want some cut calcite. Definitely I'm going to want some calcite brick. I suppose we have cracked calcite. Oh, we've got polished calcite brick, which is nearly cracked. So we got those, and let's just do a few of these ones just to stand out. We'll do, uh, what have we got in here? We've got polished and cut, so we can do you and maybe some of that one as well. So this is going to pretty much come up like this. Just to, I oh, might as well use that. Come in like that. I might throw in the odd 
break as well just to give it um, a bit more going on with it so that's one that's two okay let me just bring this up um, and I'll continue working on this statue and we'll see where we end up back in a moment all right um, I'm not sure what you think it's it's a villager um, now the, the original one was only too deep I think from the head um, yeah it's it's kind of a variation I put the prismarine in there I was looking at putting water coming out of the eyes or the mouth it didn't really work so I kind of put it there coming out of that point as a kind of a natural as you know, the bringer of life to the fit to the town and uh, and obviously you know we we are we're working with these guys so these are the inhabitants so this was the kind of statue that just seemed appropriate uh, now obviously this is not my design it's not my original design it's certainly not my inspiration it's um it's based off of ones found on the interweb um, i have no idea who originally did these statues um the problem is they're everywhere now there's it's like the little fella men man statues that are like two by two um kneeling down they're, those are pretty much ubiquitous now and they're part of the minecraft lore so there's not a huge amount you can do about that but i think as a little guardian facing out to sea i i might just put a little bit of wear and tear in on this this one i've still got a few bits and pieces of material left that i can play with and uh yeah i'm happy enough with that we could put some plants around you know just kind of not well i suppose spruce the area up is as good a name as word as any isn't it there we go let me grab you i've made it so you can actually walk into the water because in a lot of um towns the main central well was the actual source of clean water so um to be able to get down to that water probably a fairly important feature uh, i'm not sure can i i can get there can i get there at a place not quite let me do that not worried about that block he can despawn at its leisure um don't really want to muck it up too much though i i suspect this is something that the the town's folks would be quite proud of what's over there that's probably a drowned uh, yeah there he is surprise the uh grave guardian hasn't hasn't gone after him he normally does that seems to be why the Grave Guardian is spending most of his time in the water over here. He goes down there after the drowned, so yeah, such is life. But yeah, we have a central thing. We have that. Let's um Let's just go and deal with these two chuckleheads. This is what I mean. I think these are these guys are spawning at light levels that would traditionally have allowed them to spawn. Um and he's really not that much of a threat uh, and the uh, the door knight i mean he's adorable look at him he's got his little fork he's got his bucket on his head uh and he's made his shield you can't shoot him well, not with a bow anyway. And sometimes he drops his door. Not that time. Anyway, yeah, step forward. Let me take a step back for a moment and have a think about what I want to achieve next. I'll be back in a moment. All right. Um, about 40 minutes into the episode, so not a huge amount of time to do anything excessively detailed or long um because you know i can waffle from my country if it was an olympic event it would be I, i'd probably represent the uk um 
But we can throw down a couple of benches that I could actually put down more of these benches actually but I think two benches is more than adequate there we can chuck down um, a little bit of decoration I might put the benches in actually um, they don't cost much at all they're, they're yeah, relatively inexpensive uh, and I think if I go in here I should have uh, one one of those, one, two, three of those. Let me grab a couple of those and a couple of those. And we can go with the old tried and tested. Let's pop in, well, let's just do this. Bob, Bob and Plob. We'll stick a little bit of plobage on that one. Uh, you can be unflowering right now, as can you. It doesn't matter, how, because these are in a pattern, it doesn't matter how I do them, they will always appear to be a pattern. There is no avoiding that whatsoever. Now, I did, by the way, interestingly picked up this. Intoxicating deconcoction. I've got no idea. Oh, that is not good. Uh, intoxication slowness and noise oh man okay i'll be back in oh it didn't last long that's all right that was from a clown zombie by the way <laughs> i think it goes without saying that we should point out to any of our younger viewers that you do not drink anything you pick up on the street <laughs> um yeah, that's starting to look. Yeah, I definitely think some more benches would help there. I need to go back anyway because I need to chisel some of my lanterns. Um, they are, they are the wrong, wrong kind. I really, I am very tempted to bring that down. Or have another, just have another one about here maybe. Uh, but I do need a bedroom actually at some point as well. Uh, what was all about bench, 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 bench? Let me grab those. Uh, come in there. Go bub bub bub. Scroll down. It was the Dunmer benches, wasn't it? Oh, there we go. Boop boop boop. Pop those away. Bup bup and bup. And let's run over to the Tinkery Station, do four of these as, actually let's do eight of these, because this is a, and I think it was those ones, there we go, lovely. Let's head back over to the town and, I mean I did, sit... oh hello. Brown oak, palm sapling, torn journal on explosion. I'm not that bothered. Uh, I'll let you go away. Just leave me. Uh, honest, I'm not going to kill him. I, I do that altogether too often. <laughs> Crimes against um, things. Like it's a shame the shading doesn't quite work with these all the time. But you know what? That doesn't look bad. And then what we can do over here is I can get one, two, three. That will leave this area. We can do some kind of landscaping with. Um, and this area is big enough for a small house, I think. Uh, right, I need those. I need those. Actually those doesn't matter one two and might as well just do this the three and then one two you know just gives I know I've, I know I've got hidden lighting virtually everywhere in this I actually need to get some more ebony as well that's running very low um, giving the center and making it a not a market because that is I certainly I'm as guilty of this as anybody else um, you know, the markets 
town square with the market in it. Cliche. Um, but there. Oh, I am happy with that. I think I'll keep this lot to... Let me just pop that away. Stick you in there. I do need some more of that. Grab one of those. This can be... This is basically a whole load of stuff to build a small house somewhere. Be it. Probably here. We'll bring it on. Put it onto the thing. I might even make it a largish house, you know. Um, but I need to think what I'm going to build in the space. And I actually do need probably to measure it out. So where's my tool bag? Because then I can do a creative build if I wish. If I measure this out first. Hang on. Uh, if we go from here. So there, that's nine. And that is ten. So nine by ten is is my maximum size include and that butts right up to the road. Okay, I can work with that. Um I think on that note we are probably getting close to finished. Let me just go and check how we are doing on our magic side of things. Um some episodes you can achieve massive, mahoosive, or, you know, huge builds. You really do need to go. I don't like you. No. Um, and sometimes you achieve lots of small incremental steps, and sometimes you don't achieve much at all. So we need to do... Why are we at? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need to do three more. Um, and that's an easy one. That's well, not as easy, but we can do that. And we can probably, do, we can definitely do that. I mean, maybe do that next episode. So I think we could probably level up our tier on oh, uh, next episode to level four, which... Um, and kill a wither. Uh, I think we're well enough geared for killing a wither. Um, we're certainly not going to go and do it the hard way. We're going to go underground and, and do the spammy thing. I've also got somewhere about. So, uh, have you got my? Have you got my sword? No, not there. There. Uh, huh. Give me this. Has he got it? I'm not even sure whether he has actually got it. That's no. I've got my wither killer there. Look. Um, so don't worry. I don't. I don't want that sword anyway. Um, but until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.